the importance of value streams for continuous flow. How do we go about identifying and validating value streams and arts? Now, when we talked about operational value stream, one thing we wanted to tell you is usually any uh, organization or most companies in our experience, your ops value stream can broadly be fit into four category. One which is called a fulfillment value stream. Example of a fulfillment, go to Amazon, order anything out there on the planet. Amazon will manufacture nothing. They will just procure from you, give it to the customer and make money in the process. Correct? That is fulfillment. But you go to Ford, they can give you a car. And in order to build the car, they have a manufacturing value stream. What is the end deliverable here? A vehicle or a car, which is a manufacturing value stream. Then you come to a technology organization in order to build a software product custom made for you, like a ERP implementation. You go to SAP and say, we are planning to go for ERP. Can you come and help us out? They will build you a custom product, yes or no? Come and install that product in your office. That is a software product value stream. The other example is one that we saw fulfillment, manufacturing and software product. The last example is supporting value stream. Mahesh, I have support functions, HR, finance, legal, people who write contracts. What about them? My finance team or the auditing team, their deliverable is they ensure my compliant, my company is compliant with law of the land. They deliver audited financial statements year over year. That's their deliverable. And do you need that company audit and tax audit? Of course, yes. So people who support those type of work, we call them as supporting value streams. See, they are not directly adding value to the core business, but they are enabling the core business, supporting the core business. In my experience, what I will recommend all of you is one major uh, hurdle that many people mess up in the value stream identification is combine manufacturing a product with the sales and marketing effort needed in order to take that product to the hands of the customer, don't do that. Manufacturing a product and selling a product are completely different activities. Yes or no? Likewise, I want to manufacture a car, but I'm going to probably do some R&D to come up with a completely new model of a car. The what type of car I'm going to manufacture is yet to be decided. Will that be a different work or not? That's a research exclusive R&D work to come up with a new car. But once you have identified that, the process of manufacturing a car in your assembly line, that is more or less same. So do not try to combine multiple things all in one bucket while you go about identifying value streams. That's the trap number one to be avoided. Practical tips.